Hello friends, join me on this epic trip to Veliko Trnovo, central Bulgaria. This is uh, one of the most beautiful cities in the whole country. Similarly to Plovdiv, it's situated on hills. And as you can see behind me, the views are breathtaking. So you're absolutely going to enjoy uh, visiting this city. And if you're traveling to Bulgaria, put it on your bucket list. In this episode, we will explore the market street Samovodska Cherchia and the night views. We will also try a coffee heated in sand and visit the Transfiguration Monastery, a spiritual place that stands on a mountain peak about 7 kilometers from the city. In the previous video, I showed you the impressive fortress of Tsarevets and in this episode, I will start with the sightseeing at Samovodska Cherchia, a 19th century market street in Veliko Trnovo, where you can see traditional crafts, try local delicacies and enjoy the culture. The main attractions include a Kadaif shop with handmade pastries, Shekirjinica with scent heated coffee, and the art bar hipster with craft beer and cocktails. Samovodska Cherchia is a place where you can appreciate the architecture from the Bulgarian National Revival. Here you can see buildings made by Kolio Ficetu, a famous architect who mixed Eastern and Western styles. If you want to do some shopping, I recommend you to go there early as the market closes around 6 p.m. and some shops might be closed by then. I wanted uh, to order a coffee cooked in sand but I couldn't because uh, the shop was closing so most probably if tomorrow I have some time I will stop for a coffee before leaving Ternovo After a day of adventures, I decided to treat myself to a delicious dinner at the Stoslivica restaurant, which means the happy man in Bulgarian. I ordered two juicy meatballs with a creamy sweet potato mash and a glass of wine. It was a perfect way to end my day of exploration. After dinner, I had another walk to the fortress and back and I was amazed by how different the landmarks looked in the evening lights. The fortress and the old town were glowing against the dark sky. It was like seeing a whole new city full of magic and mystery. So, I'm going to call it a night. See you tomorrow. Good morning everyone! I woke up early and grabbed the taxi to come and see the Transfiguration Monastery situated on a hill above the Yantra River and surrounded by forests and rocks. I did make it to the Transfiguration Monastery. This is a very stunning holy place, so let's enjoy. I'll have a quick look before Living the monastery was built in the 11th century AD. Later on, it was destroyed by the Ottomans and in the 19th century, it was rebuilt.
Мышки или женские монастырь? Мышки. Мышки. The Church of the Monastery showcases the frescoes of Zachary Zograf, a famous Bulgarian painter from the period of the Bulgarian National Revival. The lady who looks after the church showed me the self-portrait of Zachary Zograf, considered one of the first examples of secular art in Bulgaria, as it depicts the personality and style of the artist. Благодаря ви много. Много е красиво. The architect of the Transfiguration Monastery is Колио Фичето, who also worked on many public and religious buildings in northern Bulgaria, such as bridges, fountains, schools, churches and monasteries. Well, I'm glad I managed um, to visit this special holy place before leaving Veliko Trnovo. I think the only way to get here is by taxi because uh, otherwise it would be too much walking. So in this uh, monastery is for monks and just across on the other side, if you can see, there is a monastery for nuns. The next thing I want to do is go back to the market street and try the sand coffee at the Shekerjinica. The sand coffee is a traditional way of making Turkish coffee. It's served without filtering or sieving the grounds and this makes it very strong, bitter and thick. It's brewed in a small metal pot called Jezve, which is placed on hot sand that is heated by a fire. The sand helps to distribute the heat evenly and to create a foam on top of the coffee. The atmosphere is really authentic, very pleasant. This coffee is unlike any other, but you may not enjoy it if you are used to Starbucks. It was a really authentic experience, but then again, I wouldn't say that I love Turkish coffee. I drink it, but I'm not crazy about it. Here they make a day, as it seems they have a day off, so I'm not gonna be able to show you that. But I wasn't, I wasn't planning to eat any sweets anyway, so it's okay. Now I'm heading back to the hotel to prepare my luggage and I'm going to the railway station to catch a train to Triavna. In the next episode, I will discover Triavna in two hours from its clock tower to its wood carving museum and then travel to Gabrovo, the capital of Bulgarian comedy.